Introducing Logan Everett, American Girl's first ever boy doll to come out in stores. He retails for the same price as the other dolls at $115. And he does come in the new packaging. So this is the brand new style box. He's Tinny's bandmate. And we haven't opened Tinny yet, but we're gonna show you her soon. Now Logan has gray eyes, but as you can see on the back of his box, he is sporting big brown eyes. Which makes me wonder, maybe the original Logan had brown eyes and then they switched them to gray. Either way, we think he's adorable and we're glad to welcome him to our family. Now here he is in the box. I want to show you exactly how I take him out of the box because again, this is new packaging and if you didn't see us open Gabriella, we want you to see how these boxes are different from the old style American Girl boxes. So on the top is where you slide him out. Here he is connected into his box. So we'll set the outside box to the side. You don't have to rip open the front packaging or anything. Just slide him through the top. Now you'll notice right here, this is normally where the arms are connected to the box. Gabriella's were held into place right there, but his arms are free. His feet are still secured with the rubber bands. So let's flip it over so you will see his feet are held into the box and then his neck is held into the box. But on the side, there are no bands for his arms. So let's get him out of here. First, I'm going to take off the elastic that is going across his neck. You don't need scissors for this. Just stick your fingers in there and you'll be able to pull the elastic off of the hooks. And the same process for the bands that are around his ankles. You don't need scissors, just use your fingers. They stretch so you can pull them right over his feet. Now I'm showing you this in detail just because I want you to know you don't have to destroy the box to get the doll out. It's very simple. You just pull the inside box out of the outer box, take off the elastic parts, and then the doll comes right out. And there's no harm to the box, no harm to the doll. You didn't need any scissors, and you can save the box if you want. So here is our Logan right out of the box. We haven't done anything to his hair yet. And you may notice that his eyebrows are a little bit thicker than the girl dolls. And his eyes do open and close, and they are a light gray color. And to me, it appears like he is actually looking down. I'm not getting a straight look from him. He has a closed mouth and a very light lip color. Out of the box, his hair is a little bit messy. Let me pull that back so you can see his hair. His hair is a little bit longer in the front, so it looks like he has a front wave going on. And then it's pretty short on the top and in the, on the back. So just on the very front and the sides is where he has more of a wave some volume going on. So in the back, I don't even think you ever have to brush his hair in the back because it's so short and it all falls into place. It's just the front part. I think this is the longest part right here on the front side. And for the most part, I think you can just play around with it with your fingers to put it into place. Since it is longer in the front, I think there's a few things that you can do with it. You can make a nice big wave on the front if you want. Maybe you can spray it with water and comb it down more. So there's a few possibilities for the front hairstyle. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of Logans pop up with several different hairstyles. So I think it's gonna be fun to experiment with his hair right here. See what we can do when we get a comb out. Here is a look at Logan from the top to the bottom. One thing that is different and special about Logan and Tinny is they both have different hand molds. So their hands are different than all the American Girl dolls. It's because they play in a band and the way their hands are shaped now, they'll be able to play and hold their instruments. Now I've also gotten a lot of requests if I could squeeze Logan's vinyl. So here I am giving his arm a squeeze. As you can see, it's not super soft. It's not a squishy vinyl. Let me scoot that back. Did you see that? However, after feeling all my other American Girl dolls, it does feel slightly different. I squeezed them all with the same amount of force and his does have a slight give. It's not squishy and it's not soft, but it does feel a little bit different. 
Now I also got requests to squeeze his face. So when you squeeze at the cheeks, it's just like his arms, just a slight give. But then the top, I'm just gonna use these two fingers. You can see how the top of his head, it is a lot softer. I could not do that to any of my other American Girl dolls. And I'm only using fours from my two fingers. Now I don't recommend you squeeze your doll. Don't go squeezing your doll's head. I only did that to show you because so many people asked if his head was a softer vinyl than all the other dolls. And you also might notice that his left eye is a little bit smaller than his right eye. All the dolls in the store were like this and the Logan on the American Girl website looks exactly like this. Now here he is stripped down to his undies. His undies or his boxer briefs, they do come off so they're not sewn onto his body. So you can take them off. He can go use Julie's bathroom if he needs to. Here is a look at the back side from top to bottom. You might notice something a little bit different with Logan, and that's the cloth on his body. If you can look really closely, especially where the seams are, this is for sure a new type of fabric. It's a lot softer and a lot thinner than the fabric on the previous dolls. And it's not that the stuffing's different. I don't really know about the stuffing, but all I know is that this cloth, it feels different and it definitely looks different than the bodies on all the other dolls. And if you haven't noticed yet, he is a zip tie doll. So there are no strings on Logan. Here are all of the clothing pieces that come on Logan. You have his little boxer briefs, stretchy, soft, elastic waist. I'm sure we'll see a lot of Etsy shops that will start selling different styles of boxer briefs for Logan. And then here's the shirt that he arrives in. Play loud with his drum set on the front. And then on the back it does Velcro, not all the way down. I wanna say, what, three-fourths the way down at Velcros? So that's his shirt. And this is his plaid button-up shirt, which I really, really like. This is what he wears over his t-shirt. His sleeves come down, but you can roll them up. American Girl button on the bottom, which you can carefully remove with a seam ripper if you wanna take the American Girl off. His pockets are real. They're tight. It's hard for me to get my finger in there, but I think you'll be able to stick like his drumsticks in there or a pin because they are real. And all the buttons are real and it does have buttonholes. So this shirt is not a Velcro front. It's really nice. I like this plaid shirt a lot. And this is the only outfit that was available for Logan, which he comes in it so you get it with the doll, but there weren't any other accessories or outfits for Logan in the store besides the drum set. So I'm really hoping that leather jacket comes out on the next release. Here are his jeans. I do like his jeans. The front is a Velcro, so it doesn't zip or snap or anything, but the pockets are real, so you can stick his drumsticks again or something in his pockets, which I like that. And I like this material and the color. I think it looks great on him. The back pockets are real. Love the added detail on these. Seriously, these are adorable. And then the bottoms of these jeans are rolled up. I almost want to call these jeggings though because they're slightly stretchy and they just feel more like a jegging material. But these are the jeans that he comes in. And here are his slip-on shoes. No shoelaces, no zippers, it's just the elastic. So you'll just slip them right on his feet. And that completes our opening of the new American Girl Logan boy doll. And even though his eyes aren't perfect, we love him and we still highly recommend him, especially if you want to add a boy to your collection. And if you want to see what our Logan has been up to, just click on his dirt bike video right here.